actually uh, computer development in the 70s. It was actually built around a uh, computer. So uh, basically, our main goal is providing different um, kind of uh, services for uh, for the researchers and higher education. Uh, we have around 30 public services right now. We uh, there's actually almost 200 of us. We have been working on three different locations, and I'm based on the location. This picture, which is the biggest uh, data center um, in academic world in Croatia, well, uh, in Croatia for the academic world, uh, and we have a big system over there. Uh, so, as there I said, the HPC is something of a niche, uh, but it started exploding uh, ever since the AI became greedy. Um, and nowadays, if you look at the uh, amount of the electricity that's being spent by uh, either Google or Amazon or whoever, it mainly goes on the AI. Um, so the HPC is all about parallelization. So if you happen, uh, if you have a problem, so if you want to solve something and you start running it on your own laptop and it takes some months and then you realize, oh, I'm not going to finish my uh, doctoral thesis in time, then you basically need an, need an HPC. So HPC is mainly about parallelization. So you put your problem in uh, several, uh, uh, several smaller ones, and then you basically run it in parallel so that you don't have to wait for a month for your thesis to be done, but you, you get it in an hour or so. Um, in order for all that to work, you basically need your systems. So if anybody's interested in what HPC is, beyond what I just said, we have a really cool link on the video that explains it. We have a professional guy explaining it. Um, so, uh, what you have with the HPC, uh, I've been working at the uh, center for 20 years now, and uh, that's uh, pretty much uh, how uh, long we have been providing these resources. Um, I actually double checked uh, with regard to the robotics, mm -hmm. that, 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 that's not my area, I was just providing infrastructure. Uh, we do have several uh, projects that uh, were successfully run on our resources. Uh, just yesterday, one of the professors here, especially my little uh, my faculty uh, was saying, ah, well, how do I reference your resources because they were quite useful for us. So if you do anything in robotics, uh, most of them were uh, related to the uh, robotics uh, side for recognition, where they use the AI to improve how the robots uh, see the world and so forth. I don't know if any of those do the unit are here, uh, but they might be. Um, anyhow, so we do provide an HPC resource, which is a patent box. It's not big in our world scale, but it's quite big for Croatia. Uh, we do also provide support in the sense that we install applications for you um, and so forth. Um, now, I really like the, the, the slide with the, with the Death Valley, uh, because for 20 years we were just in the academia. And we did not bother with all the SMEs and what they want to do, we just didn't care. We were happy with that. Uh, I don't know, 200 users from the, from the uh, scientific community. We, had, we organized different kinds of meetings. We would see them uh, like twice a year. We were all good friends and so forth. But then the uh, robot thingy came along, and uh, as Kevin said, uh, we realized that there are SMEs who might not <laughs> use all these things. And we were not the first one to realize it. There's also your HPC, which was also mentioned. And it was like, okay, we should probably help those guys. <laughs> So that's all about what I'm, to, uh, what I'm trying to present today. Um, so these are the showcases that we prepared. I have a minute and a half. Uh, what we realized, 50% of our resources are used on computational chemistry. So if you want to develop a new drug, it takes years. So, but if you use the HPC, you can really increase that process. I mean, it still takes years because it's a physical thing in the end, but all the experimentations can be done on the HPC resource and that really speed up uh, things. There's also areas of chemistry which basically cannot work if we do not have a computer. Uh, similar thing is for uh, computational fluid dynamics and they scale really high. So we have this uh, VMAP guy, uh, we also in the past had a bunch of shipyards and all of them are potential customers for the uh, HPC which is like what you want to design a new uh, ship or motor or um, there are some other areas mentioned for the um, um, vehicle. And finally the AI which is probably the most interesting for you and uh, we already heard the, the, the chat GPT and the large language models which is which they just exploded the usage of AI. And uh, we have uh, on our research, uh, on our resources, we have like 80 GPUs, which is nothing compared to what Facebook and Amazon have. But those 80, 80 GPUs are mainly used for our lives. Uh, 
Um, so we predicted my last slide what do we provide? Uh, as I said, there are four things with, uh, that TV provides. And first is TV education. We basically have uh, some like a lightweight TV explaining what the HPC is, which I kind of didn't read in these few minutes. Um, and then there's the uh, supporting and accessing an ethical of expert. We do organize these uh, conversations between scientists where we try to um, uh, get some people who know how to do something like computational telemetry. Uh, city AI in the same room, and then we basically listen to what they are doing, and then we try to improve our services, and in the same sense, we connect them with some people who uh, might benefit from their knowledge. Uh, there's also support and access in the actual HPC resources. So if you are uh, advanced enough that you need an HPC, we can help you either to access our resources if you're eligible, or if not, we can help you access some targets. Um, and then finally, we do actually provide access uh, to resources for the SMIs, uh, SME, right, and the big E and cap uh, where we basically allow you to access the stuff. Uh, we organize uh, the education um, in a similar sense as Kirill said. So we do have a workshop which uh, which are kind of over prepared, uh, but we can also tailor it uh, to your needs. So you don't want to sit for six hours or listen to someone that you know what to use. You're gonna sit here, see, ah, okay, you need to run these and these. So we're going to just uh, do a workshop where we uh, prepare you, do a hands-on, so and basically let you uh, do your work. So uh, those two uh, services are um, either for AI or just generic uh, CPU-bound uh, things. And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. Unfortunately,